everybody. Today I'm going to be reviewing a car named after a cat. And no, it's not a Jaguar. This is a 2016 Mitsubishi Pajero 3.2 short wheelbase. And it's named after a small South American cat, Lepardus Pajeros. At the heart of this vehicle is this very, very good power plant. Mitsubishi's 3.2 liter four cylinder turbocharged diesel motor. It really is a special engine which has over the years propelled them to numerous Paris Dakar victories. And in this vehicle, it produces 140 kilowatts and 441 Newton meters of torque, which I assure you is more than enough. There's a few things that I really like about this little short wheelbase Pajero, apart from the way it looks, but there's also functionality and practicality that goes hand in hand with it. And the engineers and the designers, you know, they were quite clever in making it look tough, you know, and robust by uh, putting the spare wheel exposed in this way at the back of the vehicle. And you can also see very cleverly that the park distance control has also been incorporated into the rear bumper and the sort of the cover of the spare wheel. Well, because it is a short wheelbase vehicle and also Mitsubishi having prioritized interior space over boot capacity, you are limited by the amount of luggage that you can take with you on your trip. Although most people will probably just use this to commute from their homes to the office and occasionally, of course, to the shops, there is still a decent amount of room in here to fit quite a bit of luggage, especially if you were to remove the top shel partial shelf. But the rear seats do fold flat and then there is this real clever uh, design that uh, Mitsubishi has for this cover that just, you know, just lays on top of everything that protects the leather too. I must say, although I love this car to bits, it is really probably one of my favorite SUVs. It's unique, it's got the looks, it's got the presence, there's nothing quite like it on the road. But however, there are a few slightly annoying things about this car that I would just like to point out. One of the first is that if you want to open the fuel cap for this, it's not on the side sill. It doesn't open by itself when the vehicle is unlocked. No. Under the steering column, where you would expect to find the bonnet latch, you will find the fuel latch. So even in preparing for this video to film the engine, I accidentally ended up opening the fuel latch. Another thing that's quite annoying or that probably comes with the compromised design of this vehicle is the fact that you can only access the rear seats efficiently through the passenger side of the vehicle. The driver's side, oddly enough, is the only seat in this vehicle that has got electronic controls. So accessing the rear seats from the passenger side. Pretty easy, you open the door. As you can see, unlike the driver's side, the seat is manual, but there's a lever right here on the side. You just pull it, move it forward. And actually, you know, because this vehicle is so high and you've got the side step, pretty easy to access the rear. And once you're in, these rear seats are actually pretty comfortable. Although, one more annoying thing, the rear windows. They just kind of pop open and pop closed. So it doesn't make for a lot of good ventilation. However, because you've got this large sunroof, the cabin doesn't feel very claustrophobic. And of course, you've got these nice little armrests that you can put your cold drink in.
Before we continue with the review, why don't you like and subscribe, turn on the bell and notifications, support this channel and help us grow. Now, when I first bought this vehicle and I drove it for the first time, I was wondering what's the real competition for this? Is, is this something that competes against other SUVs directly as you would you know, probably find on face value? And yeah, I suppose. But I do think that most of the people that will actually end up buying something like this will probably never take them off-road. I honestly believe that vehicles that really do compete with this, and maybe it's way out there, I don't know. But I think someone that goes to buy a two-door SUV would also be the kind of person that you'd think would be looking at maybe buying a, a, a small sports car, maybe a Mercedes-Benz SLK or a Porsche Boxster or a Z3, something like that. But, but they're looking for something that's a little bit more unique, something that will, you know, uh, just fill out the need for an adventurous lifestyle. This vehicle is fun to drive also see it as kind of a vehicle that if you were sitting around a let's call it a santon barbecue gas fire braai on the patio of a fancy cluster i can kind of see a conversation going so what vehicle do you drive no i've got a ford ranger nice you bmw x3 nice you I've got a Mitsubishi Pajero, short wheelbase 3.2. It's a kind of car that you almost have to describe the full name <laughs> to your friends. And I think this is why this is such a special vehicle. There's nothing quite like it. And it's just a joy to drive. The real home for the Mitsubishi Pajero is off the beaten track. This is a phenomenal off-road vehicle and boy oh boy if you saw where we were driving right now <laughs> I think you'll catch my point. Now this vehicle has got some pretty nifty features. Number one as I said, it's got rear diff lock, center diff lock, but it's also got, obviously you can turn the traction control off, but there's a sonar button right next to the steering wheel, which of course, if you're gonna be driving through water, you can use that and it will detect any obstacles. So when you're driving this short wheel base on road, you will notice quite a lot of swaying and you know, it's got a bit of a soft suspension and it lifts a little when you accelerate and it dives a bit when you brake. Nowhere near as much as the original uh, or the early, the ones from the early 2000s. Did. But when you come to its spiritual environment, like this off-road setting, you notice the suspension and the four-wheel drive system just absolutely at home. Oh. I think this car is enjoying this more than me. I'm about to do something that I have never done before. And I have got such confidence in this vehicle that I just think it's gonna be so easy. So there is a quite a manly hill on this off-road track in front of me and before the hill which kind of looks like about 40 degrees from where I'm standing that is probably like maybe 35 I've got to go through a water obstacle and then do a slight turn to the left probably looks like it's about six seven meters high <sighs> and hopefully everything goes well so I'm gonna put this vehicle in its lowest gear with the center diff locked, with the rear diff locked, and I think it's in the crawler gear. So here we go.
Are you in the market for a new or used vehicle? Or should I say pre-loved vehicle? Since all my vehicles are absolutely top quality. Why don't you give me a call? My number will be on the screen right here. <laughs> and also, you can email me right here. And um, I'll be sure to give you access to some of the best used cars and fantastic after-sales service. And I'm pretty sure that once you've done business with me, you're not going anywhere else. As a road car, the Pajero is a fantastic option. Really, it's got everything you need. It's, it's errs to more towards the rugged kind of luxury quality. Uh, and at this price point, certainly you expect a lot of features. But I mean, this has got cruise control, it's got heated seats for the, both the driver and passenger, electric windows. I, I mean, it's got everything that you really need for a vehicle in this segment. You know, you kind of never really trust the manufacturer's claims when it comes to fuel economy. But I can honestly say that this returned an honest 10 kilometers per liter. Now performance figures, kind of battle to find uh, zero to 100 uh, times that are listed on the internet. But I can tell you having tested this the old school way, that the vehicle does zero to 100 Ks an hour in about 11 seconds. Overtaking is a breeze. I mean, there's nothing for this to overtake both slow traffic and on the highway. So this 2016 Mitsubishi Pajero 3.2 short wheelbase. What are my thoughts? It's a beautiful car. It's gonna keep its value well. It's got a sunroof, it's got PDC. It's got everything you need to make it a nice daily driver, but also bring out the wild side during the weekends. Fantastic car. And to be honest with you, I would really highly recommend it. And just as a note, if you own a vehicle like this and you've never taken it off-road, I want to tell you, you're doing yourself a tremendous injustice. It is such a capable vehicle and it will blow you away.